When we walk, most of us don't give the actual process a second thought. Tiny electrical signals contract the leg muscles to help the joints move. All of it is controlled by our brains. Researchers have been working on developing artificial legs that mimic natural leg movement. This one allows me the opportunity to flow down the stairs and not really think about the process of what the next step is. Terry Karpowicz is testing this robotic leg Perfect. at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> the motorized limb harnesses the electrical signals generated by the upper leg muscles. The signals are known as EMG. We pick them up with tiny antennas called electrodes. When the electrodes touch the skin, you, you can detect the EMG signals. And we pick those signals up and decode them. Can you give your muscles a squeeze? Levi Hargrove led the research that produced this device. The knee and ankle are motorized to replicate normal movement. With this uh, prosthetic leg, the, the power pushes you along. It can push you up out of a seat. It can push you upstairs or slopes. At the University of Linz, Professor Hubert Egger has just unveiled the first prosthetic leg that can send feelings to the brain like a real leg. Surgeons rewired an amputee's remaining nerve endings from his foot to tissue in the thigh. Sensors are fitted to the sole of the prosthetic foot and linked to artificial stimulators connected to the stump. This device also allows the person wearing it to feel the ground. Wolfgang Ranger says with this artificial leg, he can tell what kind of surface he's walking on, and in winter, he no longer slips on ice. The participants in both programs expressed a renewed sense of wholeness. Haley Denisevich took part in the Chicago study. This is kind of the closest that I've, I've gotten to having, having two legs again. What we're working on in this lab is eventually going to change the lives of amputees everywhere. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's great. The study conducted at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. In Austria, Professor Egger is trying to find a way to reduce the cost of his prosthesis to help people in developing countries. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.